Good morning, my loves. It's Monica, and it is actually quite early. I'm about to start getting ready. I'm very excited because today I'm going to be going on a cute little bookshop crawl. It's been a moment since I've done one of these, and I was just in the mood to hit up a bunch of bookstores. I thought I'd bring you along. Basically, I've recently become fixated on the idea of getting into cozy mysteries. I, over the past like year or so, really discovered my love for whodunits, and I've just really wanted to like explore this new subgenre of mystery. So that is my plan for today. I am planning on hitting up a couple different bookshops in Manhattan. So the first one that I'm hoping to hit up is the Mysterious Bookshop, which if you couldn't guess from the title is a bookstore that specializes in mystery fiction, mystery and thrillers, and it's one of my favorite bookshops in the city. I love a bookshop that like hyper specializes in one specific genre. I just think they're so fun and you could get such good recommendations there. I really wish there were more like that in the city. Like, oh, I wish there was like a romance one, a fantasy one. That is my dream, but I digress. Very excited to go to the Mysterious Bookshop. So hopefully they'll have some good recommendations for me. And then I also want to hit up three lives because it's kind of nearby. And honestly, I've just never gone before, which is wild because I feel like it's such a like classic New York City bookshop, but planning on going there too. And then maybe after that, like the Strand or something, just in case I can't find anything and I need to go to a big bookshop, then I'll hit that up. But that is my plan for today. I'm super excited. Before I head out though, I do want to give a big thank you to this video's sponsor, which is Jamvies. Literally the most coziest, comfiest, luxurious loungewear I have ever worn. And I love that their whole ethos or their like whole idea is to create performance in active wear. I think that's amazing. Like the whole idea is that like obviously there's athleisure, but like their clothes are actually made with the idea of like lounging in mind first and foremost versus like athletics so it's made to be cozy and a lot of really intentional thought goes into creating these products like they design everything they create their own fabrics from high quality sustainable materials they create totally unique products and yeah i'm just obsessed with what they're doing and their whole mission and concept you'll likely be seeing me wearing these pieces throughout this video and in future videos because it, they're just so perfect for like lounging reading gaming all of that so i never want to take them off basically. <laughs> I'm currently actually wearing their Chillux hoodie which is genuinely the best hoodie I've ever worn. It has like thumb grips, it has like an extra stretch stretchy side panel and the like material is so soft and the like even just like the strings like you know how the like strings on hoodies always have that like weird tape on the ends obsessed with this these are like they're like capped so they're nice they're just so much nicer so nice and they are offering you guys early access to their black friday sale all you have to do is use my promo code which is monica kim 25 or the link in my description box and that will get you 25 percent off their entire site i personally will be taking advantage because I am obsessed with their clothes but yeah thank you so much again to Jambies for sponsoring this video and without further ado let's head on out for a little bookshop crawl
Gentleman Thief by Maurice LeBlanc. Um, and I want to see if they have, they have this one called The Mitford M Murders, which just um, on the back, one of the blurbs says that it is exactly the sort of book you might enjoy with the fire blazing, the snow falling, etc. And I was like, that's what I want. So I'm thinking about also doing this one. We'll see, we'll see. Wait, is that like dog poop kind of smell? Yeah, that's oh, ginkgo Oh no! Yeah, that's ginkgo. <laughs> Here we see Monica in the wilds. <laughs> Hello friends, so I am now home and I immediately of course had to change into my jambies because I just wanted to be comfy and boy am I comfy, literally I have these feel like butter, they're so soft. Um, anyways, I thought I would do a quick little book haul because I picked up quite a few books today and I'm so excited for all of them. Basically the vibe that I was going for is I really just wanted like a bunch of really cozy reads, definitely focused on cozy mysteries obviously, but in general just wanted like lots of cozy books for the like fall winter season. So I'll do a little book haul of those and yeah, but today was just lovely. We ended up just going to Starbucks and rang in the season with a Starbucks like Christmas cup, which is always, you know, I'm basic, okay? I can't help it. I love, I love the Christmas cups. And my favorite beverage is their toasted white hot chocolate. It's so good, it's delicious. And then we just had a lovely day walking around the city. We took a very long walk, or not very long, but like a 30, 35 minute walk um, from Three Lives Bookstore, and then we walked down to the Mysterious Bookshop. We like walked along the river, and it was just beautiful, so that was lovely, and just like spending the day with Matthew is always lovely, so a great day. Now we're gonna do a little book haul. First off, I went to the Mysterious Bookshop. I ended up not really getting anything at Three Lives. They just didn't have anything that I was looking for at the time. It's a really small bookshop, but it was lovely. It was my first time actually going. I had never been before, so loved that but I picked up two books from Mysterious Bookshop and Mysterious Bookshop is great because obviously they like hyper focus on one specific genre so the booksellers there like really they read a lot of mystery and so they can recommend a lot and I love that like I just think like hyper focused bookshops are my absolute favorite I wish there were more of them in New York City like I think the Mysterious Bookshop is basically the only one that I can think of but would love there to be more. I talked to one of the booksellers there and I told her that I was really interested in reading like cozy mysteries and she didn't really read a lot of like that specific genre of mystery but she did have recommendations of mysteries that had in her opinion like cozy vibes that were a little bit like low stakes not like super gruesome um, and that had like a certain whimsicality to them. So the first one that she recommended is this one. This is Jessica Fellow's The Mitford Murders. The author has written a lot like within the, within the Downton Abbey world. So I believe this is like pulling from that and has like sort of Downton Abbey vibes, but it is like a murder mystery. But yeah, this is set in 1920s England. We follow eight year old Louisa Cannon who has been, who's grown up in poverty and her sort of like out from that is to work for these aristocrats as a maid um and so yeah apparently it's like very they're very like eccentric and i'm super intrigued for this one i read the first couple pages and i really like the writing style i love that sort of like put on like i don't know how to describe it but like that that aristocratic kind of put on voice that books sometimes have and yeah this I just think it sounds really fun so I'm excited for this and she seemed to really like it and she also read this one and really raved about it and Matthew my friend 
also has read essays by this author and has loved them so I was super intrigued and the cover is stunning it's cult classic um, and so this is a romantic comedy thriller which sounds amazing and also has like some like I think sci-fi fantasy elements basically our main character one night she runs into one of her exes and then another ex and another ex and another ex and it's sort of like she's like she starts unraveling this like mystery it's supposed to be a masterfully crafted tale of love memory morality and mind control as well as a fresh foray into the philosophy of romance is it possible to have a happy ending in an age when the past is ever at your fingertips and sanity is for sale it's also supposed to be a literary fantasy mystery uh which are things that like if you like i love anything like genre fiction combined with literary fiction I love that so yeah really really excited for this then we went to the strand our third bookstore of the day and i went a little crazy at the strand i had to stop myself i had like a lot more books and i was like i cannot do this so first up this isn't a cozy mystery but it does look very cozy it is a graphic novel called thieves and this is by lucy bryan and this was like next to heartstopper it has an alice osmond quote uh where she, where she writes such a sweet and funny story with complex flawed characters that you can't help love and basically follow these two uh lesbian girls who are like reverse shoplifting something like that honestly i just like loved this cover so much it just looked so beautiful and i really like the art style on the first few pages just like i really vibed with the like pacing so yeah i'm intrigued for this one it looks so cute then another random pick i honestly i've never heard of this book before maybe i live under a what is that phrase oh no under a rock maybe i live under a rock but yeah i i saw this and i was like that cover is really intriguing um and it's called dark rise and it it's supposed to be like a dark ya fantasy and i'm always intrigued for like upper ya like dark ya fantasy um just because that's likely the genre that I will be writing in um and so I'm always intrigued to like see what other people are reading or what other people are writing um and this sounds really interesting basically this like ancient world of magic has disappeared and our main character Will is a doc boy and he is about to discover it has only been lying in wait I was also intrigued for this one because I feel like I don't normally see Rainbow Rowell like blurbs on books um and she wrote that it was intricate and immersive which are two words I really love when it comes to fantasy and then I picked up two actual cozy mysteries so this first one i've had on my radar for a little while honestly 100 percent because of the cover like it just looks so beautiful and i loved the vibe basically the the premise is that it's like wind in the willows with a cozy mystery so that is uh shady hollow by juno black and it just it looks so beautiful and basically this is a cozy mystery that takes place in a forest and we are following little forest creatures and it just sounds so sweet and i'm excited for that so i might actually start this tonight because i do want to read a cozy mystery tonight and then i was just googling i googled well-written cozy mysteries which by the way if you have any recommendations for like cozy mysteries that you think are like really well written please let me know um but one of the ones that i saw a lot of people recommending is this one which is the thursday murder club and kate atkinson blurbed it and said it's a little beacon of pleasure which sounds lovely i love the premise of this one basically we follow these four um senior citizens who are living in a retirement village and every thursday they get together and they like in the jigsaw room and they discuss unsolved crimes they call themselves the thursday murder club and then one day a local developer turns up dead and they end up taking on the case as their like first case as amateur sleuths and yeah i don't know i just love the idea of like following like senior citizens who like live in a retirement home together i just think that sounds so fun so that is my haul for today quite a large one i was not expecting to pick up this many books i'll be honest um i was like oh maybe i'll pick up like two cozy mysteries and here i am with one two three four five six six books um but you know what that's how life goes <laughs> i guess good morning friends so it is 
next day it is Sunday morning and I honestly did not get a lot of reading done last night I was so tired I didn't even realize how tired I was until I laid down um to read and like I think I got four chapters in and then I was out <laughs> I was so sleepy um and then I woke up this morning and I was like why do I feel like I slept for like ages and then I realized daylight savings time happened that totally was not even on my radar so anyways that was quite lovely I got like I I definitely have needed rest I've not slept very well the past week so it was nice to just like get some extra hours in this morning and just like to go to bed so early last night but yeah my goal for today is I just need to do like a lot of like tidying and stuff um, we're still sort of like in the unpacking process and we're really excited because if you watched my like move-in vlog we had some issues with one of the rooms in our apartment and they are coming tomorrow morning to like basically rip out the floor and put in a new floor so that's going to be the pro like a process over the next few days which i'm a little bit like anxious about just because that's going to be like probably a lot of like noise and stuff but i'm excited for that room to be opened up so like kaylee can move into there and then we can we have like a, so much stuff in like our living room and everything and so like once that's taken care of then we can like work on all of that which i'm very excited for um and just in general i like because i've been filming the process of like doing this office i've only been able to like unpack like one space at a time um and i finally did the two videos that i was like planning so i can like finally finish up the rest of things so that's my goal for this week is to finish up um unpacking and tidying this space and like figuring out how I want it set up um and then to do the same thing in my bedroom so I thought I'd do a little update on how I'm going with Shady Hollow. I am um, like two-thirds of the way through. I'm on chapter 20. It's so like cute but I also am really like invested in the actual like mystery part of it like the murder mystery side. Basically it's set in Shady Hollow which is this town in a forest and all the forest creatures live there in harmony like think Zootopia basically but like in like a small town instead of a big city and it's so cute i love it i'd also compare it if you've read nevermore like the way that the animals in there like all have like distinct personalities and things like it reminds me of that too so if either of those stories or ones that you like you might really like this and then at the beginning of the book one of the residents is murdered and we follow a journalist and a deputy police detective who are both trying to figure out what happened and also like stop future murders from happening in this very like quiet town in a forest and yeah it's just really cute and wholesome and fun to read it honestly feels almost like like you told me this was like a spin-off like side story from like the nevermore universe or zootopia i'd 100 percent believe you like it definitely gives those vibes like with these animals that have that are basically behave like people you know but they're forest creatures and they all live in harmony with each other like it's just really cute <laughs> and really fun so i am loving reading this i'm hoping to finish it um today honestly i don't have that much left i feel like i'm gonna figure out i like really want to know who the murderer is i'm like trying to piece it together in my head and i'm not sure yet but it's really fun um but yeah, i'm hoping to finish this in the next like hour or two and then um start something new for tonight moved you around a little bit but i also got my order from sephora because i placed an order during the sale so i thought i'd do a quick little unboxing and see what i bought i think i placed this order at like i don't know like 2 a.m or something so i don't 100 percent remember what i got so first of all i picked up this from topicals it is their exfoliating body serum it has retinol lactic acid urea and squalane and I got this because I have like that like bumpy arm skin thing that I think is pretty common and I heard that this is helpful for that and in general I just sort of like wanted like an exfoliating body cream or I guess this is a serum 
um so yeah and i've heard really good things about it it has really good reviews so and i've also been on the hunt for like skincare products that have urea in it because i've just heard really good things about that ingredient and then i got a new match stick this is from fenty beauty this is my favorite contour product in the world it is their matchstick in the color soft amber which is the lightest shade i feel like they changed this packaging this does not feel this does not feel as nice as the matchsticks used to feel hmm, i don't like that this is the stila stay all day eyeliner in black and it's my favorite so i've had mine for a while so i just figured i'd probably need a new one soon anyways been on the hunt for a new like ideal moisturizer and i tried one recently and i liked it and i didn't love it so i wanted to try this one this is the kiehl's ultra facial cream and i feel like this is such a classic like people love this one so i thought i'd give it a shot see if i like it biggest item in here is this this is from day um and i love day products they smell so good that's honestly half the reason why i like them um and this is one of their holiday sets and i needed a new um i needed a new conditioner and a new like first wash shampoo like something just like super basic so i i always shampoo my hair twice um i have one that's like a scalp treatment but then i just like to use like a basic one in between and i thought this set was nice because you get the shampoo and conditioner together along with their hair oil which i've been wanting to try for a little while um and yeah again their products like i can already smell them like through the box they smell amazing i also use their leave-in conditioner and like a styling treatment and it just uh, i love the way it makes your hair smell and then i got a couple of freebies so first i got this dermalogica sample this is their daily daily microfoliant it's like a powder that you can turn into a face wash i've been wanting to try it and then I got this Kiehl set. I used 500 of my points for this um, because it comes with a cleanser, facial cream, eye cream, and a cleansing mask. And I thought this would be really helpful. I have some future travel planned. So I, I always love to get these like 500 point kits for like travel and stuff. So I picked that up. And yeah, that is my little Sephora haul. <laughs> Guys, I just finished Shady Hollow and I loved it. Oh my goodness, this was so fun and cute. I loved the like whole story. I thought like the mystery was really compelling. I think I had this like weird fear that like I wouldn't love the writing or the pacing of a cozy mystery, but that is absolutely not true. This is everything that I could have wanted. It was adorable from start to finish. I would highly, highly recommend this to anyone who like if if you if the idea of a cozy Zootopia novel <laughs> sounds like a good time to you, um, I would also say this is like Winnie the Pooh with a murder mystery in it, um, or like a side novel in the Nevermore universe. Like it's just it's so fun, so cozy, so whimsical, and yeah, I just I loved this, and I definitely will be getting the rest in the series because I had such a fun time reading this one. So yeah, highly recommend. And I read it in like less than a day it's a very fast read yeah i'm trying to decide what i want to read next i am between i think the thursday murder club which i think will be super fun um or the mitford mitford M murders i don't know which one i want to read i kind of like the idea of reading something that's like set in the 1920s i feel like that would just be fun um but the like the premise of this one is also really cute. I might actually do the Thursday Murder Club just because it like it just sounds fun. So I might do that tonight and read that and continue about my evening. I've also just been now that I loved that Shady Hollow book so much. I've been looking at my like list of cozy mystery recommendations, which by the way, I have to recommend there's this one booktuber who I love and pretty much all she talks about or like the main category that she talks about is cozy mysteries and that's um intentionally bookish she just has like the best vibes honestly like she just seems like the sweetest person in the world and she gives so so many cozy mystery recommendations like really specific ones uh holiday seasonal ones so if you love cozy mysteries like i'm obviously very new to the genre and i would love to be able to recommend some in the future as i read more but if you want like a lot of recommendations i think her channel is amazing um but if any of you have recommendations for cozy mysteries let me know in the comments down below i will definitely check them out i really 
loved that one so I definitely want to add more to my list I really love that and I think right now I'm gonna go and do some more cleaning I didn't really film any of the cleaning process because like honestly it's not very exciting <laughs> but I want to do a little bit more a little bit more tidying and organizing um, and I think I'm gonna start Thursday murder club next Hello pals, so I finished making my dinner. I just made a giant thing of spaghetti and I have so much love to vermeet sauce. I like randomly have been craving spaghetti recently. I feel like, do you ever have like one of those things where like you just like crave a food that like you ate a lot in your childhood? <laughs> and spaghetti is one of those. And I, I rarely to never crave like classic spaghetti with meat sauce. So I was like, you know what? That's easy enough, I can do that. So I made that. And I'm feeling very proud of myself. It's been a while, honestly, since I cooked and I'm trying to get back into that. I've been doing some like setup and stuff in my bedroom and trying to like clear through. I have like stuff that I have to sell on Poshmark. Like there's a bunch of stuff over here that I have to sell on Poshmark, Facebook Marketplace and all of that. So I've been working on those like listings. Um, and then I was hanging my curtains in my bedroom. Finally, they came in um, and they just like fell. I just like heard a loud crash and curtains fell to the floor so that's a sad day I'll have to reset those up which is always a struggle because I am terrified of low heights I think I've talked about that on here before I'm fine with high heights but you put me on a step stool and the world is ending so oh well gonna have to do that again and I'm finally starting to hang up my like shoe hanger things that like go in the closet the issue is that like the closet doors are like a little bit too thick so I had to like hammer them <laughs> I don't like hammer them straight and then like curve them and it was a whole a whole to do I ended up cutting myself doing it so thrilling hello friends so it is the next day and I spent honestly most of last night just like doing a lot of organization a lot of tidying and like getting rid of things I have a giant pile of stuff that I have to take downstairs stuff I'm donating stuff I'm giving to my mom when she comes up to visit in a couple weeks so I'm feeling very productive in that sense and yeah just in general I had like this big pile at the back of my room you probably saw it in like clips throughout the video of like all of my winter coats and just like that kind of stuff that I those like final things that I had to go through so I finally did all of that I have a bunch of stuff that I need to take downstairs just like donations and garbage and laundry that I have to do those are probably my next big couple of tasks over the next few days along with like listing some things on like Facebook marketplace and stuff but yeah I'm feeling very good very accomplished I also read a bit of the Mitford murders and I like it I'm about a a third of the way through it my only issue is that I I would not consider this a cozy mystery like it's definitely a, a like a whodunit mystery that has cozy vibes like if you want to have a cozy evening in reading a mystery I think this is a great one but I feel like it has some like pretty dark grim scenes in it that I I am very much a novice to the to the cozy mystery genre but I just don't think are like indicative of that subgenre so I do like it I just feel like it's lacking that like certain like bit of sweetness that cozy mysteries often have it feels definitely more in comparison to like Agatha Christie and like those kinds of things which I love I love a whodunit so I'm not upset about it I'm definitely vibing with it but um, I definitely want to add more into like the whole like actual cozy mystery um, subgenre than I already have like I just loved Shady Hollow so much so if you have any recommendations I think I will probably end up specifically focusing on cozy mysteries that are either like historical or fantastical in some way just like have a certain whimsicality to them if anyone has recommendations definitely let me know I will definitely be picking up though the next couple of books in that Shady Hollow series because I loved it so much it was so fun I would also definitely like I mean I can't recommend it fully because I haven't finished it but the Mitford murders definitely has like it basically starts on Christmas so I think it's a really good one to pick up right now just like keep in mind that it's not sort of a classic cozy mystery if that makes sense but 
anyways i think i'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this vlog here i had so much fun just like bringing you guys along book shopping with me and on my day-to-day -day life and i hope that you enjoyed this one i will definitely be posting more cozy mystery content in the future so keep an eye out for that let me know if this is something that interests you too like if no one's interested in cozy mysteries then i probably won't continue posting about them but if you are then i will i hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day and i'll talk to you next time bye